reports on these important issues. If you're ready to go back to a movie theater, we want you to find the Christian movie, Tulsa. It's an inspiring story about a little girl who will make you love Jesus. Today we interview Scott Pryor who made the movie. Former Navy Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt took a stand to defend religious freedom by daring to pray publicly in Jesus' name. Now he helps you by reporting the news, discerning the spirits, and praying the scriptures. Would you pray with us? Here's Dr. Chaps. God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt, Dr. Chaps, and you're watching PIJN News. On this show, we like to do three things. We report the news, we discern the spirits, and we pray the scriptures in Jesus' name. But today we're taking a, a break from heavy, important news, which is uh, consuming everybody's mind, and we're celebrating the fact that with we're nearing the end of the COVID-19 crisis, movie theaters across America are reopening, and there's a Christian movie you may not have heard about. It's called Tulsa, which is in theaters right now and we'll soon be going to DVD, but go find this movie. Look up your local listings. I wanna introduce my new friend, Scott Pryor is a movie maker, but also an attorney and has written and produced Tulsa the Movie. That's the website to learn more, tulsathemovie.com. Welcome Scott Pryor to the program. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for having me um, and, and definitely uh, representing Tulsa our film, we really appreciate that. So uh, I'm not from Oklahoma, but I understand Tulsa the movie is not even set in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa is the name of the little girl who, who uh, you know, robs the spotlight and, and breaks hearts in this movie. Uh, how did you come up with that name for this character? Sure, so my sister's name is Tulsa. And um, she's not from Tulsa, Oklahoma, but everyone, everywhere we went always loved the name Tulsa. And uh, the character, uh, Tulsa is one of the main characters, Tulsa and Tommy uh, Coulson. So Tulsa is a very spunky uh, little uh, girl. And so my sister is also very spunky as well. And I actually dedicate the film to my sister. Um, so that's, that's why I came up with the, with the name Tulsa. So give us a, an overview of the plot line of the movie. Here's this little girl and this older man and she inspires him to do what? Sure. So the movie starts out, you meet Tommy Coulson and Tommy is a Marine. He's suffering from PTSD. He's also suffering from major tragedy. Um, he's, he's really, really just holding on to the edge of life. And then he gets a phone call from one of his friends saying, Tommy, I found your daughter. And of course he doesn't know that he has a daughter. And uh, so he's not ready to be a father or anything like that. Um, and so he's really thrown for a loop and um, he's convinced to, to just go and meet this Tulsa. And Tulsa is a force to be reckoned with <laughs> and she interjects into his life whether he wants to or not. So there's a, quite a lot of friction at first um, between Tommy and Tulsa and there's a lot of humor, it's, it's very funny. And then um, as the movie progresses, uh, at first they fight each other, but then they fight for each other. So it's a very um, touching, heartfelt film um, the people who've went out and seen it at theaters and, and, and have viewed it um, are just raving in terms of uh, they love the movie and just say it's tremendous and we get all the time. This is the best movie we have seen in a very, very long time. So it's, uh, it's exciting, exciting, exciting to roll I'm out. excited. I, I have not seen the full movie, but I've seen this trailer. Uh, go ahead and what are the names of the lead actors and can you set up the trailer so we can uh, show it? Sure, so um, Scott Pryor, I, I play Tommy, and then uh, Livy Birch, she plays Tulsa. We have um, Cameron Arnett, John Schneider. Um, of course, Cameron Arnett has is, is, uh, been in a lot of faith-based films, Overcomer, and I still believe. Of course, John Schneider from uh, Have and Have Nots, and also, of course, Dukes of Hazard. And then Nicole Marie Johnson is also plays uh, my Tommy, my love interest. So um, great characters, and then uh, the trailer, of course, gives you a little uh, little taste taste of the film and uh, there's a lot more to it uh, than what you'll see in the trailer but uh, you know the trailer is just going to kind of give you a, a, a glimpse of what you're what you're in for here now the movie trailer from Tulsa the movie quiet it's time for church there are no churches in this town you're lying now get up I made breakfast I'm gonna drop you off at the orphanage 
I don't know how much longer I can do this. Okay, I'll stay. You don't have a place for me to stay, but it's okay now. I found my father. I am in no position to be a father. She has no other family. Into the world, to the wild, no place for child. Use my voice to hide. Well, I'm packed. Great. You know you shouldn't smoke or drink. It'll kill you. So no children. All your alcohol and cigarettes. I threw them out. What the? That language. I've been in five different schools since mom died. The girls can be kind of mean. You gotta treat school like prison. Go up to the biggest, baddest girl and punch her in the face. So. So, you won't let go? I won't let go, I promise. Exactly where you are right now. Where's that? Lost. What's say by love, Tommy? That's not always come in the form of a lighthouse or lightning in the sky. Why aren't you so scared to go to church? You just know it doesn't work. Maybe God's at work right now, and you just don't see it. So full of love. What's up? She's a very sick little girl. She did sustain several injuries, not the least of which is the one to her head. And now, if this should continue, she's going to slip into a coma. If you could do anything in the world right now, what would it be? I'd go to the daddy-daughter dance with you. I wish we could. Holding on to hope that oh, Mr. Colston. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not allowed to visit. Mr. Colston. Are you for this? We Colstons. We go big. We go home. I'm sailing home to you. You fought for me. You fought for us. Penguins is what heaven feels like. Let's be honest. I'm no good. I'm no good for you. You're perfect for me. I love you, Tommy Colston. Oh, until I find my love. So there you saw it. There was, uh, in fact, the lead actor is also the screenplay writer, is also the uh, director, producer. Scott Pryor does it all in Tulsa, the movie. Uh, Scott, describe what we just saw before we go to commercial. Sure, that was just a, that was just a trailer. Um, and again, it's meant to uh, pique your interest in the film. Uh, some comments are like, oh, you just saw the movie. You did not just see the movie. There is a <laughs> lot more to it. That's just to kind of whet your appetite. Uh, most people are very blown away when they come out of the theater. We've uh, attended multiple showings and people just come out of the theater and they say, wow, we laughed, we cried. Um, this film is, is really important to us because right now, as you've mentioned, um, Dr. Chaps, we're in political unrest, we're in election year, there's COVID, so people have depression, they have anxiety, they have fear, and they need, um, they need a breath of fresh air. And so I say, go out, take your family out to see Tulsa, I promise you will walk out of the theater, you're gonna be inspired. Um, it's a story about hope and redemption, and you're gonna get some sun soul, and it's exactly what we need right now. So we feel that Tulsa is very fitting, and we feel like God's just opened a door for us to be able to show this, and um, it's changing lives uh, as we speak from, from uh, the different reports that we've seen, so we're really excited about that. I love it. Uh, learn more at TulsaTheMovie.com. Let's take a short break. I'll ask Scott Pryor how he got into the movie-making business. Dr. Chaps will be right back with more PIJN News. I'm Dr. Chaps. Jesus said in Matthew 24 that famine would be a sign of the end. And we are now facing a famine of biblical proportions in one of the poorest states in India, where our charity has sponsored up to 259 orphans and children for many years. But now there are thousands of people starving in the streets because of the unemployment there and we've been helping widows, like the letter we received from Sanuri, who writes to us and says, I stay with my three children in the slum. I was washing plates in the hotel and earning bread for my family, paying house rent. Suddenly I lost my income. After hotels were closed by the government, this was a shocking moment for me. Afterward, 
We could manage eating half a meal a day to manage a scanty ration for longer days. When there was no ration left for my family, I was quietly weeping outside with agony. An unknown fellow came and asked whether I am a widow. I said, yes. He wrote my name and address and asked me to collect ration from your office. I got that ration with joyful tears. I strongly believe that God helps the helpless during troubled times through benevolent people. You know, the benevolent people she's talking about are you and your generosity when you give through our ministry is actually helping her to see God. Would you please donate today at 866-Obey-God? Again, our phone number, 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D, and help us supply a matching gift. We've already given up to $10,000 to supply 100,000 meals, and there's somebody out there who could double that gift with one stroke of a pen. Please donate through our website, PrayInJesusName.org, and designate your gift to India Relief. Please give today. Empowering you, the grassroots activist. Here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Chaps. You're watching PIJN News. We're reviewing a Christian themed movie today. Tulsa is a story about a little girl who will inspire you, make you laugh, and even break your heart. Uh, who wouldn't fall in love with a little girl? Uh, Scott Pryor is the actor, director, uh, producer. You wear all these hats, but Talk about the little actress that you hired. Who is this gal? Where'd you find her? Sure, Liv Birch uh, is her name. And uh, we had a casting agency uh, go out. And so we had 9,000 submissions total uh, for Tulsa for all the roles. And um, Georgia has some awesome talent, some fierce competition. So Liv came and, and um, auditioned and did a fantastic job. And it's not set in Oklahoma, you would think with the name Tulsa. You're actually based out of Georgia? That's right, we shot the film um, in Augusta, Georgia, and the movie is based out of Atlanta, Georgia. That's correct. Okay, and does this little girl, uh, I haven't seen the whole movie, so are there different stages of her life? And, and uh, without giving away too much, what happens? Sure, so the story is actually not just about Tulsa, the story is about Tommy and Tulsa and their relationship. So it's basically, um, uh, it, it's basically a love story between um, a father and a long lost daughter. And um, it, it's wonderful because you see both characters really progress. Um, it's, you know, it's actually Tommy's story and the effect that Tulsa has on Tommy. But Tulsa is such a force to be reckoned with that we just named it Tulsa. We thought that was fitting. So it's a wonderful um, story of, of, of redemption and hope uh, in a relationship that they build. And, and uh, Tulsa is a feisty little. Um, Bible thumper, if you will, and Tommy <laughs> is a a uh, tough biker who's had massive tragedy, who's dealing with addiction issues and all sorts of stuff. So uh, Tommy's not interested in Jesus or God or, or any sort of thing like that at all, and Tulsa um, doesn't give him a choice. And so uh, there's a lot of friction, and uh, it's a lot of fun, but then again, um, she really fights for him, and then they fight for each other. So. Um, so it's a beautiful um, portrayal of a relationship. And we've had a lot of fathers um, comment and say, you know what, I walked out of the theater and I wanted to be a better father to my child. Um, and so a lot of, uh, we get comments from, I mean, this is a, this is a, this is a truly a family movie. So young, you know, young to old and in, in all walks of life, whether somebody, you know, is a person of faith or not, um, it's, it's, it's for everybody the film is. And, you know, we don't beat you over the head with the faith. Uh, we've actually had people go on and review and actually shoot videos and talk about Tulsa, um, not being faith people and how they encourage other people, um, whether you, you know, you're a Christian or not, to go and see the film, which is, uh, which is really cool. Um, you know, you take a journey with these two characters yeah. and, um, and, and you get to see the journey and the, and the obstacles and the, and the, just all the struggles that they go through. So it's Well, it's very I love touching. that. You know, I'm a former Navy chaplain and I ministered to Marines with PTSD and uh, the lead character that you play, uh, Scott, you play this uh, Tommy who is a Marine and has had these kind of tragedies in his own life and he's hardened, and he's gruff and he's uh, keeping people out and he turns to uh, alcoholism and the things that you portray in the trailer. Um, but why, 
the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why did you choose to make a Christian movie and not just a movie about a little girl? Sure. Um, well, you know, prior entertainment, uh, we, we, we make faith films and um, we think that faith is essential to people's life. Right. So if, if you cut off um, if you cut off the spiritual man or, 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 or don't pay attention to what's going on in your soul, you have an issue. Right. We all do. So um, we think it's important to address that um, in a non threatening or a non preachy manner um, for just your general audience to say, hey, um, you know, I need to reconnect with my faith. And we've actually had uh, people walk out of the theater and report that, you know, I, I walked away from faith years ago, but you know what, I'm interested in reconnecting with that faith as a result. And so um, our films definitely, and this is our third film, our first film's called The List, and uh, our second film's called Black Bear. Um, and, you know, those are out in distribution right now. You can search for those and find those and watch those currently. Um, but our, our, our movies always deal with faith, and in, in, again, in a non-threatening, um, in a non-preachy aspect, because faith is, is so important, especially during these times. Um, so that, that's what we want to do. We want to inspire, um, and, and we want to bring hope and redemption and stories that, uh, that lift people up. Um, and hopefully it's a really good story. Work very hard on telling a good story in, in, a, in a great way. So besides the name Tulsa, which you said is also your sister's name, are there other real life elements that inspired you to come up with the story, the screenplay idea? Where did all this come from? Sure, absolutely. Um, well, uh, I'm also a trial lawyer. And so I go across the country and I represent people who've been injured uh, catastrophically or very seriously injured or killed by somebody else's neg negligence. So I represent victims of, of tragedy essentially. Um, and so, with doing that, my day-to-day -day job, I'm put constantly, um, people are sitting in front of me and just laying out um, horrific things that they've been through. The pictures I've seen, the phone calls I've taken, um, the stories that I've heard. And again, I, I have to translate those stories, my client stories uh, to a jury and to a judge. And so in a courtroom, I present and I fight for my clients to get, you know, to, to, to get them compensation and bring justice. Um, so my love of storytelling to the screen. And so Tulsa was actually inspired by several cases that I've worked on. Um, and one of the cases I asked my clients, you know, when I'm prepping them for trial is, um, you know, how is, how is this injury or set of circumstances, how has this affected your life? And so um, through the course of several different cases uh, that inspired the film, you know, I, you know, I get these answers and, and um, interestingly enough, one of the dads talked about a daddy daughter dance and how prior to the injury to his family, he was able to, um, you know, go to this daddy daughter dance and they would dance all night. And then after the injury, they could only dance for, for a little bit. And that really hurt him uh, yeah. and it hurt his family. And so that just, uh, that kind of stirred something up in me. And uh, that along with some other cases that I've worked on, um, I kind of uh, uh, put those together and just different characters and that sort of stuff and, and uh, put those in, in a story. And of course I fictionalize some characters, but yeah. there's also some characters uh, in the story that are certainly real. So it's, it's inspired by true events. I love it. Let's take another short break. When we come back, Scott Pryor will give us his real motivation for making Christian movies. This is PIJN News, defending your religious freedom. Dr. Chaps will be right back. I'm Dr. Chaps. We're offering a flash sale on all of our teaching products when you visit PrayInJesusName.org. Click on the online bookstore and all of our products are now 50% off while supplies last this month only. But in addition to that, we're offering a spiritual growth pack with four of our best DVDs in one package, starting with how to have an effective prayer life, how to have an excellent marriage, Real Christianity in an Unreal World with Vince Dacchioli, and How to Become an Effective Christian Activist. You can grow in your spiritual life with all four of these DVD products, normally $30 each. That's $120 value for half price, for just $60, and we'll throw in the shipping. So call us right now at 866-Obey-God and say, I want the Spiritual Growth Pack. I want those four DVDs for just $60, Call us right now for this special offer at 866-Obey-God. You know, the Bible says in 1 Timothy 2 that we are to pray for kings and all those in authority. Why? So that we can live peaceful lives in godliness and contentment. 
In that spirit of prayer, we have commissioned 500 commemorative Donald Trump golden coins. Each one says, in God we trust. And we will send this to you for a donation of any amount when you call us right now at 866-Obey-God or give through our website, PrayInJesusName.org. There's a limited number of these commemorative coins and why would you have this? Well, every time you look at it or feel it in your pocket, we want you to be reminded to pray for our president, especially in this election year, especially with all that's been happening in the news, we need to uplift President Donald Trump in prayer. Call us right now at 866-Obey-God and for a donation of any amount, listen, we're running out, limited supplies. Call us right now and we'll ship you a Donald Trump coin. Stay tuned for the end of our show to learn how to partner with this ministry. Here's Dr. Chaps. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Chaps. I'm joined by Scott Pryor, who is not only a movie maker, he's also an attorney. And not only an attorney, uh, Scott, I just wanna put you on the spot here and say, uh, you're also a bit of a preacher, like I am. I was a chaplain, uh, but I wonder what is the gospel of Jesus Christ and what is the message in plain words that you want your audience to take away? Sure. Obviously, you know, we, we want the gospel. We want, we want to share the gospel. We want people to know, look, you need Jesus Christ. Um, at the end of the day, that's what you need. Um, a lot of people have that empty feeling in their lives. And what fills that gap is, is the gospel of Jesus Christ and how he came down. You know, we're sinners and, and Christ died on the cross for our sins. And it's a matter of uh, giving your life and giving, giving your will over to, to God and, and following, becoming a follower of Jesus Christ. And so that's, that's what we're about. And of course, we want to spread that message to people through film. Again, we don't want to do it in a preachy way or, uh, you know, where you have the gag reflex. Um, but we want to do it to where uh, we tell stories where you get to watch this character and you get to watch the challenge and obstacles as they come through. And of course, part of those obstacles, of course, are spiritual. And so why we uh, create films and, and some of our films are, are more like a parable. Um, others are overt overt in terms of the gospel. Um, but uh, the why we do it is we want to help people and we want to educate, we want to inspire, and of course we want to entertain. But the why of prior entertainment and, and us making these films is again to reach as many and to help as many people as possible. And we literally get messages from all over the world um, on a daily basis uh, on the different films that we've done, how it's affected people's lives. Because, you know, we just got a message from somebody in the UK um, on our very first project was called The List. And he said, I just watched The List. It's, it's one of my favorite movies now and I share it with all my friends. Um, we also had a call during Christmas um, from somebody in British Columbia who, uh, excuse me, they reached out on social media and said, I just wanna let you know that God used your film, The List, to, um, to, to inspire me to call the suicide prevention hotline and um, I chose not to take my life after watching The List, which was our very first film. Wow. And so, you know, of course we reached out and said, look, God has a purpose for your life. You know, do not, don't commit suicide. And it created a dialogue and this was just last Christmas. Yeah. And so um, it, it's awesome. And then we, we hear from a lady who's um, in, in India and she writes almost every day saying, you know, we watch your different films. And she's like, it's such a huge encouragement to me because that, uh, you know, there's not a lot of places to worship around where she is. So we know we're reaching a worldwide audience and we know that God is, is taking the films and using them. Um, and again, The List and, and, and Black Bear and now Tulsa. So uh, each film that we produce, it seems um, gets a bigger and bigger footprint and, and God is using. So we're really excited about that. And we're very thankful for that. We, we don't take for granted. Um, we, we see this as an opportunity that uh, we're very appreciative of. And it's, and it's great uh, fun, you know, making these films and, and, and putting a solid team together and uh, being able to just work together on that. There's a lot of, uh, lot of uh, prayer and a lot of support for the film. Let me ask, how are these movies distributed? Because I'm guessing The List is now on DVD or Black Bear, if people wanna find a DVD or a pastor may wanna show it to your youth group. But with Tulsa, the movie, where can people go watch the movie and how can churches get involved? Sure, so, um, so, with, so if you go to Prior Entertainment, that is, um, that is so Prior Entertainment, that, that's our company, my wife and I's company. So if you go to our website, you can see the different films and kind of you know, where you can see them. For Tulsa right now, it's in theaters. 
people don't understand, theaters are open right now today. Tulsa is in, um, check to see if it's in your area today, is playing across the country, and you need to go to the theater. You need to support the films in the theater because what, what happens is the distributors look at, you know, are people going to the theaters? If you have a good theatrical run, then you get wider distribution for DVDs and and, and uh, video on demand platforms and that sort of stuff. Because a lot of people say, well, I'll just wait and I'll just sit at home and wait uh, and, and watch it on you know video on demand. But you're actually hurting faith based films. You need to go out to the theater and see it because really the theater is the first uh, major footprint for um, faith based films. So go out to the theater, take your family, support about it, share. I promise you, if you go out and see Tulsa you will walk out of the theater with your family and you will be changed. You'll be a changed person as a result of it. Um, so go out and see it. And then if you're interested in, your, in our previous films, of course, go to Pryor Entertainment. And um, any upcoming projects, official Scott Pryor is, is my social media. So feel free to follow on that because we have upcoming projects after Tulsa as well. So official Scott Pryor and Pryor's P-R-Y-O-R. P-R-Y-O-R-E-N-T dot com or also Pryor Entertainment. Uh, if you Google Prior Entertainment, you'll find it. Uh, Scott, Absolutely. we have just uh, just 30 seconds left and I'm a chaplain, I'd like to say a prayer, is that okay? Absolutely. All right, Father, we ask you your blessing on this movie and on all of the people who might go to see it. Father, we pray for the gospel of Jesus Christ to be broadcast through film and through wonderful movies like Tulsa. Father, we pray that everybody goes to see it, brings their friends and the whole world will get saved to the gospel of Jesus Christ through these kind of messages. We pray this blessing in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for coming on, Scott. Uh, our website, by the way, is PrayInJesusName.org. Please donate when you visit PrayInJesusName.org or call us today at 866-ObeyGod. For a donation of any amount, we will send you a golden Trump coin. Please call us at 866-ObeyGod with your best gift today. We'll see you next time. Today, I wanna to invite you to sign an important petition to Congress to protect military chaplains, especially their right to pray publicly in Jesus' name. If you remember my story, you know that I was vindicated by Congress in 2006 after I took a principled stand for the right to pray in Jesus' name, but Congress never did pass a positive law to let chaplains pray according to their conscience. Would you sign that petition with me? Let's take action today. Dr. Chaps need your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best financial donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now, 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.